Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a caricature in Affinity Photo. Caricatures are images or drawings that exaggerate the appearance of the subject in the image or drawing. Some elements of caricatures are oversized heads and eyes. Also, the nose, the mouth, and the ears of the subject are often exaggerated too. Caricatures have been around since the European Renaissance. You can find this style of art in some of Leonardo da Vinci's works, such as his Caricature of a Man with Bushy Hair. First, go to File Open and select the dog image. Second, grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Set the mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and select the head of the dog. Press the right bracket key to increase the size of the brush. Press the left bracket key to decrease the size of the brush. Once you've selected the head of the dog, press Ctrl and J. This will take the selection of the head and place it onto a new layer. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect, or go to the Select menu and click Deselect. Select the original image and press Ctrl and J to duplicate it, or right click on the layer and select Duplicate. Now select the dog head layer. Go to the transform panel and turn on the lock aspect ratio. Next, take the move tool and make the dog's head larger. With the dog head layer still selected, grab the mesh warp tool from the tools panel. Reposition the head slightly to fit the body by adjusting the nodes, then hit apply. After that, with the head layer still selected, go to the Liquify Persona. Since the eyes are an exaggerated feature in caricatures, we're going to make the dog's eyes bigger. Select the Liquify Push Forward tool. To decrease the brush size, press the left bracket key. To increase the brush size, press the right bracket key. You can also go to the brush panel on the right to resize the brush. Take the brush and push the eyes out to make them bigger. If you need to zoom in on the image, press Ctrl and 1. Press Ctrl and 0 to view the whole image. Next, go to the nose and add some exaggeration to it. Now, go to the top of the dog's head and push it down slightly. After that, edit the mouth area to make it bigger. Go to the neck area and bring both sides slightly in. Once you've done the neck, go to the ears and make them slightly bigger. Hit apply when you're finished. You'll then be sent back to the photo persona. Select the duplicated layer. Then go back to the Liquify Persona. Next, take the Liquify Push Forward tool and go to the neck area of the dog. Take the tool and bring both sides of the neck inward so that it matches the dog head layer we just edited. Then hit Apply. In the Layers panel, turn off the original image. Next, select the other two layers. Right click on the selected layers and click Merge Visible. Then, turn off the dog head and the duplicated layers. With the merge layer still selected, go to the Filters menu. Select Blur, Bilateral Blur. This filter is used to blur an image while still allowing some parts of the image to keep its high contrast. Here, we're using the Bilateral Blur to add a hyper-realistic look to the caricature. Set the radius to 5 pixels and the tolerance to 20%. Then hit apply. And this is how to create a caricature in Affinity Photo. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Now type the first part of the following quote. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. Then, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the text and place the duplicate below the original. 
Next, type the second part of the quote. It's the size of the fight and the dog. Feel free to use another quote if you want. After that, press Ctrl and J to duplicate this text and place it beneath the other duplicated text. Now, use the tilde key, or you can use the dash key, then type Mark Twain. Place this text below the end of our quote and make sure that all the text is aligned on the left side. You can drag a guideline onto the document to do this. Select all of the text. Then, go to the font family and choose a font for your text. The font I use is called Arita Regular Italic. Adjust the font size so that everything is showing on the document. Once you've done that, go to the Layers panel. Turn off the original image. Select the text and the caricature layer. Then, right-click on the selection and click Merge Visible. Turn off the other layers in the Layers panel. Now, go to the Poster Mockup link in the description. Click on the Download from PosterMockup.com link. Another tab will open. On the New tab, scroll down and click Download. Then, click the Download button on the next new tab that appears. Click OK and wait for the mockup to download. Once it finishes downloading, go to the file, right-click on the zip folder and click Extract All. After it finishes extracting the files, go to the mockup folder. The mockup file type should be an Affinity Photo file, but if it isn't, right click on the mockup and select Open with Affinity Photo. In the Layers panel, delete the file labeled Delete This Layer, then turn on the mockup layer. Double click on the thumbnail of the Place Your Artwork layer. This will open up a new tab. Here is where we'll place our design. Go back to the caricature file, copy the merge layer, then paste it onto the embedded tab. In the layers panel, delete the template image. Go to the transform panel and turn on the lock aspect ratio, then resize the image to fit the document. After you've resized the image, close the embedded tab. The design will appear in the mockup. To export the design, go to File Export. Then you can choose to export it as either a JPEG or a PNG file. And then you'll click Export to export your work. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.